I think cinema is really important because we live in an age where you can watch anything on a tiny little square with really bad sound. I think increasingly, I think cinema is going to come back because because we can watch anything virtually any time on a tiny screen. We've lost some of the thrill when you watch when you watch the young kids watch their first film in the cinema, or maybe they haven't seen cinema for a while. The sense of scale is awing again, isn't it? And the sound, the overwhelming experience of cinema. I think that's why cinema will never go away. Market Hall was a focal point in Brynmaw, which it sort of still is. And uh, also, I think there was the Tredegar Workman's Hall, or there was a cinema in, in, over here at, at yeah, some point. But uh, you find that, that in, the, in, in the days that we're talking about, that that was the only form of entertainment. You know, with, like, yeah. with television, it was very limited. So a trip to the cinema would would be exciting you know, for any child, you know. Previously in Brynmaw alone, there were, there were two, three. The cosy here. Co 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 cosy and this. Yes, there were two in Brumau, but small towns, you know, across the valleys, they'd have three or four cinemas. My grandfather was Osborne Lee, but everyone knew him as Ozzy Lee, and he used to take me round various uh, cinemas. He was the manager of Blina Cinema, and I remember him taking me to the cosy cinema in Brumau, uh, which I remember because it had a round window in the front in King Street. We had four cinemas in Eberville at that time. Um, yeah. yeah, let's go through them. Yeah, right. Um, there were Plaza was the first. Mm. Then we had the Astoria. Mm. Then we had the White House. And, and then we had the Palace. Palace. Yeah. It's the first thing you see when you come into Bramau is the Market Hall Cinema. And because of that, I think it's got a huge importance to the town. The White House, which was by the police station yes. at that time, I don't think it went on very long into the 60s. I know the uh, the Astoria was there for yes. quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. The Astoria was probably the best of, yeah. of the cinemas. Well, the Astoria was right centre in Eberville. And right? it, on, it, it was purpose-built as a yeah. cinema, uh -huh. wasn't it? Uh -huh. Whereas the palace was a theatre. Uh -huh. Well, my grandfather was also the manager of the cinema in Beaufort, which I think was in the ballroom. Uh, there used to be a cinema, I think, called the Olympia in Tredegar from uh, my grandmother's uh, tell me anyway. And uh, now there's a weather spoon over there, but um, yeah, that was the one locally here. In the Gaiety, I do know that they had silent movies there and that there was a lady there that played the piano for the silent movies and apparently my grandfather thought that she was playing too loudly. Um, so he took her onto one side and said, can you play a bit quieter, please? Which she did for a while, but then started to get louder and louder. So he took her to one side again and said, a bit quieter, please. Um, but again, she was playing louder, so he decided that he would tie up the pedals of the piano over there he tied up the loud pedal and jammed down the quiet pedal so that she couldn't play loud. As well as the Olympia and the Workman's Hall, there was the Palace at Park Place. I think it was built as a cinema and then later converted into doctor surgery. And it had um, a pseudo marble facade, as did the top cinema, which is at the top of the Castle Street. In fact, it's in Queen Victoria Street, and um, that went on for many years of various things. I think the last picture house in Eberville, which was right on the cross, in a, you know, mm. which is the centre of Eberville, closed. That I think the Astoria was the last one to go. Uh, market Hall Cinema opened in 1894, and as the title suggests, it was originally a market hall for use as the town, where they brought all their produce together. But since then, basically, it's been had multiple usages. Uh, most recently, and for the last hundred years, it's been a full-time cinema, which means the Market Hall Cinema is actually Wales' oldest continuous-running cinema. What um, I always remember about the Astoria, you're going through the, the doors on each side of the stairs, the two bombs. That's right. From the I, two right. cases. I remember that now. Yeah. Yes, they were, they were there. They were case, case cases, cases, cases from, from, from cases from, from, yeah. from the uh, yeah from, the the, from the, the palace was a theatre. Mm -hmm. The other uh, the other three, but we forget in one mind because after the palace 
uh, after the Astoria closed, mm -hmm. they opened the Workmen's Hall. For, oh, correct, yeah. Because I saw yeah. the sound of music in there. Yes, I mean, yeah. I mean, I nearly broke my neck in there, actually, because <laughs> it, it was so, so dark. dark. <laughs> oh, yeah, just dismal, yeah. Where the old Tesco's is. Right. So there's yeah. a cinema there, so you can see how popular um, local entertainment was and hopefully sort of still is, you know. But yeah. My mother took me to see South Pacific over Ebbeville. There I remember going on the bus with that. <laughs> well, there were, so you see how things changed. You, had to, you were dependent on the buses, but now you've got like the car, you can fly to Nant Gallo as a Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I think that um, so people are realising now that there's more going on sort of in their own town. I wonder what happened to the statue that was on top of the workman's hall. Yes. There was a statue of a yeah. miner up there. Yeah, I don't know. It's, what happened to that guy? Know, no idea. No, no, no. He disappeared. So the, the, four, the four cinemas went, I, probably all about the same time, didn't they? Yeah. They, they disappeared. Yeah. Um, when, but when they, were in, when they were sort of in full force mine, I mean, mm -hmm. they were full flow, they, the, um, there were two showings, two shows yeah. a week, weren't there? Yeah. Monday to Wednesday, Wednesday to That's right, yeah. to Saturday. No shows on a Sunday. They um, used to have midnight matinees as well. They, they did at one yeah. time, yes, they did. Because yeah. I remember we sang in a couple of those. Midnight we did. Matinees. We sang in the the, 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 the yeah. theatre, um, and I was in the Astoria. Yeah, yeah. yes. Well, it, there's two sides, isn't it? There are the people that actually sort of work at the cinema and sort of volunteer and help out and make the cinema go. But the other side of it, of course, is the locals that come to see the films. Because without them, I mean, at the moment we're showing um, Thor, it's two o'clock in the afternoon on a Friday and people are queuing in to come to see the cinema. That shows you how passionate people are about cinema. The Workman's Hall, that was the most modern because it was rebuilt up in 1938. And, um, the seating and the lighting was fantastic, and the curtains and the stage. Then the Olympia, well, that started off as a market, so it was converted from there. But uh, they were all nice, comfortable cinemas. And of course, the cheapest seats were sixpence. And the regular, you know, the manager shouting quiet there in the sixpence. Did you used to go on a Saturday morning? I didn't go on a Saturday morning. Oh, my, no, mother the never take, oh, my, yeah. my mother would never take me long. We used to go, no, all the kids, yeah. no mothers. Mm. And if it was like um, Cowboys and Indians, mm. completely historically wrong, I know now. But like they'd be there now and the Indians would be attacking. They'd have all the wagons around and then the cavalry would come. Okay, yeah, that was and all the kids would be shouting and hooraying and whooping. And it was, and then he'd have an ice cream and think it was fantastic. In the Gaiety Cinema in Blainer, I remember being in the cinema there, and very often the film would break down. Either the film would break or whatever, and I remember sitting there as a seven or eight year old, and the film would go off, the lights would come on, and then everyone would start stamping their feet and chanting Aussie, 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 which is my grandfather's name. And I used to think, oh no, <laughs> I don't want to be here. Well, I, I, I've done it, been here for a fair number of years now. Uh, from when we had the extended market hall cinema, all stall seats, uh, which the council took on, took seats out every Friday night ready for the indoor market. Oh, and then and like, as sort of time sort of went on, the sort of cinema like locally then was the place where you, you tried to meet your first girlfriend outside, of course, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. Or, or <laughs> obviously, is, yes, if he yes. was tight, you'd tell her to go on in so you knew she'd already paid for herself. <laughs> so, so, sometimes we, we used to have uh, danger money for going on the Tradiga buses when, when we had buses from different areas. Uh, we used to have double-decker buses and uh, but once you once you get round from the roundabout to the crown into the year, we, we used to uh, just wedge ourselves against the doors because from from you think there'd be nobody there, but as as, as the bus pulled up, you'd end up with a crowd like ants coming from the side of the building. Plaza, I think I went to see the robe in the plaza. Uh, now the plaza was the first thing that when you come to when you come from the north end of Eberville. Right? Yeah. The plaza, and I saw the robe there, and they used to have these um, big actors and actresses used to come there every now and again, and used to put them up in the. Uh, That's right. Diana Durbin was one. Not Di Diana, Diana Durbin was, was it? Or Sheridan was it? Was it Sheridan or Diana? One of them. One came there. And they stayed in the 
The one that was... What's, it? What's the name of the hotel? The County Hotel. Oh, he stayed no the longer county. there. Now we, all it's these gone. buildings have all disappeared. That's it, yeah. Yes. He stayed in the county. Well, we, 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 we have done live shows on stage and we once had a uh, desert song on stage uh, set, set all in uh, sands and bright sunlight and the boiler then used to be under the stage and it, it backfired and it, the oil, oil-fired boiler then ended up pumping black smoke all the way across the stage. People like Charlie Chaplin played in the palace. Mm. The White House, Harold Lloyd came there. Evidently, yes. Yeah, Harold Lloyd, yes, all, yes. you know, big That's names right. at that time. Charlie Chaplin, he became in, in between silent and talking movies. And everybody thought he was fantastic. But another thing I remember about the Workman's Hall Cinema, they had ice cream delivered in insulated boxes from London, and they came up by train. And um, the boxes would be put outside uh, to dry out. But there was solid carbon dioxide in there, and if you put your fingers in there, you'd burn them, it's so cold. Well, we've, we've had uh, big, big crowds for when we had Greece here. Uh, we had them t- uh, hanging all the way around the square because uh, that, that was one big popular film. The only other one that I matched it really now is uh, Mamma Mia. They are in quite modern films as well in the market hall, aren't they? they it's, are. not, it's not as if they, got, you know, it's like black and white films. Oh, you did not know that they're quite got, up to date long yeah. with that. Because they, they had a first release cinema, which is they, they have to show the most modern, up to date films to keep those films that are coming in, you know. So it's, um, it's an old um, style sort of building like, like yourself, but sometimes you cannot beat that, it gives the character to it. When The Life of Brian was, was released, there was a lot of outcry, and the censor then allowed local regional sort of censors, i.e. the local authority, to decide whether a film was suitable for public consumption. So duly what happened was all the councillors from Blind and Gwent traipsed over to the Market Hall Cinema, went into the auditorium, laughed riotously at the film, then as soon as the house lights came up, their faces straightened, they walked out going, filth, we must ban this, we must ban this. Just that wonderful hypocrisy, wasn't there? Well, I think the demise of the cinema started with the videos, and the home movies and what have you, because yeah. they went into decline then. Yes, you could, you could sort of hire a, a, a DVD a, a and things like that. Yeah, I yeah. mean, it, it was, uh, the writing was on the wall, really. I mean, not only that, those buildings are pretty old and they, they must have needed quite a bit of refurbishment. Oh, yeah, the yeah. sort of, and safety standards were obviously coming on stream then. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, so it, it, it just could, they didn't pay for themselves. And I think that's what, what happened yeah. there. I think, well, this cinema is probably one of the, is probably the most important building in Bryn Mawr because this cinema is essentially Bryn Mawr. When you think of Bryn Mawr, you think of the town square and you immediately the think of... Of course you do. You think of the building itself. And of course, because as a community we've got collectively so many happy and wonderful memories of coming to the cinema, this is our childhood cinema. This is the cinema I first saw Jaws in, Change My Life. This is the cinema I first saw Alien in, Change My Life. This is the cinema I just saw, what did I see recently? Captain Phillips, best film of the year. Wow, I want to just see more films like that. So, and we can see them in an environment that suits the storytelling best, isn't it? Yeah. Things are not the same now though, because um, there are less and less people go into the cinema. Well, television killed it all, didn't it? Mm. Probably. As far as the community could see, I think it was just a sort of a death by a thousand cuts, wasn't it? They yeah. cut this cut that, and then yeah, and people true. gradually got got to to, to, to sort of um, to to go out to other things yeah. and um, uh, television, as you said. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the <laughs> bingo was another thing. Everybody yeah. wanted to play bingo. bingo exactly. um, if you go out for a night out, let's go play bingo. And, uh, <laughs> so I mean, ironically, some of those cinemas were turning into bingo halls. Yeah. I know that the Gaiety in Blyna, I don't know when that shut. It changed the name to The Grand at one time, but then Bingo took over, uh, the cinema shut. Um, and I know that the one in Blyna now is a supermarket. Bingo was so popular, there wasn't a bingo hall in Ebervale at the time. When you got out to the bus, it was so packed, you just had to pick your feet up and you'd be carried out. 
When the cinema was under threat recently, when the council wanted to divest itself of the burdens of showing films, I think it was absolutely understandable that the community came together to basically sort of say, right, this can't stop. This is a hundred, you know, this is over a hundred year old tradition. We have to keep it going. So it was actually surprisingly easy to get the community to come together, to galvanize, to say, right, we need to do this. And everybody did come together. And uh, that, that's how we still actually working with it today. As part of uh, the community groups, we would like people to encourage people to come forward and support them as much as they can. Be because lately we've had all the new popular films, we have increased the audience le level to what it used to be. So uh, it's just getting them slowly back into the habit of actually coming every week. Hopefully, as long as people love cinema, love the building and love the thing, I think cinema in the South Wales Valleys has a great future.